After 20 years of becoming progressively blind, Chris James has been given the chance to see again. He suffers from Rantinitis pigmentosa, a condition which affects many thousands of people in Europe and is currently incurable. He's one of the patients participating in a trial of an implant known as a bionic eye, carried out at the John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford, England. During an operation, a chip made by the German company Retina Implant AG has been placed in the patient. The chip, which is similar to those found in camera phones, allows the conversion of light passing through the eye into the electrical impulses, which the brain can then interpret as images. And here we see, after the operation, the chip implanted in the head of the patient. The image that is perceived by the implant is fragmented. So if you imagine a circle might be perceived as two half circles or even four quadrants, perhaps even in different parts of his brain, he might see them in different parts of space. So what he has to do, what he has to learn to do, is his brain will learn to put those bits together into one single object. While Chris can only discern outlines of objects when peering at them from a close distance, doctors expect that he will adapt to the new sensory information and he will eventually be capable of recognizing faces. I've always had that um, thought in the back of my mind that one day I will be able to see again. These are not the first experiments with the so-called bionic eye, but the technology is rapidly progressing, giving new hope to patients.